your glory, Lord. I feel it that God wants to touch homes. Fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes with your glory, Lord. I want you to sing that song into your home. Fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes with your glory, Lord. Pray concerning this. Fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes, fill our homes with your glory, Lord. I know we're just starting. But I feel that God wants to touch our homes. So even as we are starting with worship and say, Father, fill our homes with your glory. There are some homes right now that really needs the, the awesome you know, manifestation of God's power, manifestation of God's glory. So why don't you invite God into your home? Perhaps your home has been going through a turmoil recently. Perhaps there's something that your home truly desires, something you've been longing for in your home. It could be the fruit of the womb, yes. It could be the fruit of the womb that you have been longing for in your home. I want you to use this time to, no, let's worship God with this song. Perhaps there's a great need in your home. There's a great divine intervention you want God to do in your home. Let us worship with this song. Over to you, sir.
Presence is what we need to carry us in in the journey of life. We are still in the mood of worship, but I just want to welcome everyone. Thank you for connecting in to another edition of Worship at His Feet. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for another edition of Worship at His Feet, September edition. We thank God for His faithfulness. God indeed has been faithful to us since January down to this month of September. Thank you for joining again. May the Lord bless you. You have not come to see man. You have come to see God. So I want you to be expectant that this few minutes you'll be spending, you know, we will worship, you know, hear the word of God together. I want you to be expectant that the Lord will meet with you. You know, he will speak to you. He will, you know, he will touch your life and your life will not be the same again. So be expectant. Perhaps you connected with no expectation. I'm asking you to put an expectation to this time out right now because you are in the presence of your father. I want to encourage you to kindly share this link. Invite others to join in even as we progress in this time of awesome worship. It's all about Jesus and Jesus will be glorified and we as people will be blessed in Jesus' name. Can we just sing that song again? And I want us to say, Jesus, fill our homes. I just have this, this tearing that we should, you know, commit homes and worship God, that God fill our homes. Is there any home connected right now to this, you know, to this broadcast? And you're in need of something, maybe in need of the fruit of the womb, in need of a divine intervention from God. I want us to sing that song again as we go into the time of the world. And I want us to be expectant. I'm also positioning myself. So better position your home, you know, at a time like this. And say, Father, fill our homes with your presence. Do you need God to do something in your home? Why don't you just worship in that song? Let's just sing it one more time as we go into the world. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. Feel our homes, feel our homes, feel our homes, feel our homes, feel our homes. With your glory, Lord, the glory of God is his testimony. Oh, feel our homes, feel our homes, feel our homes, feel our homes, feel our homes. With your glory, Lord. And so, Father, fill our homes with your glory. Fill our homes with your presence. Fill our homes with your glory, Lord. Speak through my lips, O oh God. I mean, speak through my lips, O oh God. 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 In Jesus' name, amen. This is just a short charge, and then we'll move on with the worship. Um, recently, I think a day or so ago, Facebook gave me a reminder of a message I posted um, on my Facebook wall 
um, 2020, I think 31st of August 2020. And that message was a message we shared at Worship at His Feet edition then. And the message was titled, Be Encouraged. Now, um, I remember the scripture I used then was Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. And which reads, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And in that message, I addressed some questions. I said, for instance, who is speaking? Who said that message? And I pointed out that that message was said by God Almighty. And so that shows the integrity of that word. You know, when God says something, we can you know, trust and you know, believe that it's going to come to pass because our God is not the son of man that you should lie. So I said that shows the integrity of that word because it's spoken by God. And then the second question I said there was, what kind of plan does he have for us? And then from that same scripture, we're able to identify that the plans he has for us is to prosper us, not to harm us, to give us hope and a future. So, if you want to give this short chart, it's a short chart, if you want to give it a title, I gave it the title, Be Encouraged Part 2. So, I feel it's more like a continuation of that which was shared in the third, on 31st of August 2020. But this time around, the scripture I will be using is in Isaiah chapter 66. Isaiah 66 from verses 7 to 9. Isaiah 66 from verse 7 to 9. It said, before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard of such things? Who has ever seen things like this? Can a country be born in a day? Or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet, no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery? Says the Lord. Do I close up the womb? When I bring to delivery, says your God. So quickly, I just want to bring out some, bring out three things from that passage. Three things quickly, just to encourage us. Thank God we are in the month of September, the ninth month of this year. And God has great things for us. I don't know why, but I'm feeling again within me. Yes, God has great things for all individuals, but I, I'm feeling that great things are coming for homes that are connected to this broadcast. So I want you to stand in God for your home. As we have started, that Lord, fill our homes, fill our lives with your presence. I want you to stand in God for the home, you know, for your own home, for your own family, that great things are coming in this month of September. So quickly from what we have read, I want to bring out three things. Now, what I read, he said, do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord. Who is speaking there again is God. So that means that there's integrity in what we are about to share. The first thing I want us to know, my dear brother and sister, is I want you to be encouraged. That God who has begun that good work in you is faithful to complete it. God who has started that project in your life is faithful to complete it. We are in the ninth month of this year. We are moving towards the end of 2022. That way the Lord has started in your life, in my life. God is faithful to complete it. That project you have embarked upon, God is faithful to complete it. That which the Lord has put in you all this why. That he has put in you all this why. And he has been nurturing it in you. God is faithful to bring about a delivery of those things. We are in our third trimester. You know a pregnant woman. When she's moving close to her third trimester and she gets there. She becomes excited. When she's moving close to her due date. Ah! She becomes excited and expectant because she's like, finally, I'll be bringing out this thing. I'll be, you know, bringing out, I'll bring out this baby I've been carrying for a long period now. 
You know what it means when a woman is pregnant and she becomes so heavy. As she gets close to the due date, she's like, oh, finally, I'll be able to you know, give birth to this baby I have been carrying. So I want you to be ready, my dear brother and sister. Get ready to deliver that which the Lord has put in you all this while. This is your birth in season. God is too faithful. He cannot fail us. The God who has helped you thus far to nurture that seed in you. The God who has helped you thus far is faithful. And there shall be successful completion in the name of Jesus. Just last month, to my own testimony, to our testimony. Just last month, the Lord helped us to birth something that we have been working on for a couple of time. For by the grace of God, last month we held our first residential conference in Beauty Makers Academy. God made it happen. The Lord himself brought about that same delivery. That is my own testimony. That is our own testimony. So I want you to know, number one, be encouraged that God who has begun that good work in you, he will complete it. Every project you have embarked upon in this year 2022, by the special grace of God, there shall be successful completion in Jesus' name. That's number one. Number two, in that same passage that we read in verse 7, it said, before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. And in verse 8, he said, Who has ever heard of such things? Who has ever seen such a thing like this before? You know what, my dear brother and sister? Not only will God bring about the delivery, I want you to also know that the delivery will be easy. The delivery will be swift. You know why? Because you'll be helped by God. I repeat, not only will the Lord complete that which he has started, not only will the Lord cause you to deliver that which he has put in you, but the delivery will be swift, the delivery will be easy in the name of Jesus. Look at that scripture. It said before she even goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pain even came upon her, she delivered. He said, who has ever heard of such things? That way the Lord will deliver through you. That way the Lord will deliver through me. Ah, it shall be easy. It shall be swift. People will say, ah, ah, do you mean you deliver this great thing in short a time like this? So shall it be. You know why? Because we are helped by God. Still talking about the testimony the Lord did for us last month. The delivery was easy and swift. That is the conference, the first residential conference of Beauty Makers Academy to God's glory. It was easy and swift because we were helped by God. So I want you to, sp I want to speak to someone listening to me. That delivery will be easy in Jesus' name. Now point number three. In verse eight, it reads, Can a country be born in a day or a nation be bought first in a moment? If you look at that question, is it possible for a country to be born in a day? Is it possible for a nation to be brought forth in a moment? So you can see that that question is not possible. But the Bible says, no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Meaning that even if that is not possible, but I want you to know that no sooner than Zion came into labor, she was able to give birth to her children. So point number three, that which you'll be delivering, my sister, my brother. Not only will it be easy, but it will be great in the name of Jesus. It will be a great thing that you will deliver. It will come in multiples. Look at what he said. He said, then she gives birth to her children. So it's not just one child that Zion was able to give birth to. The Bible said, our children. That which you are delivering in this season will be great. That which you are delivering in this season shall be multiple. I want you to listen to me. You maybe have been expecting one thing, but you will have more than one in the name of Jesus. You maybe have been expecting something little, but what you will deliver will be great in the name of Jesus. Imagine the Bible was likening it to a country 
and a nation. And we all saw that it was not a possible question. So that which we are delivering this season, I repeat again, shall be great and it shall be in multiples in the name of Jesus. So in summary, I'm here to encourage us that as we have entered into this month of September, as we are moving towards the end of the year 2022, I want you to be encouraged that everything that God has started in you, He will complete it. Everything that God has put in you and He has been nurturing you, there shall be safe delivery in the name of Jesus. It will not just be a safe delivery, it will be an easy and a swift delivery in the name of Jesus. It will be easy and swift because you are greatly helped by God in the name of Jesus. Not only will it be easy and swift, it shall be a great delivery. What you will deliver shall be something great. And it shall be in multiples. If you were expecting one, get ready for two. If you were expecting two, get ready for three. In the name of Jesus. So that is why I know that our homes will be filled with the glory of God. And just like the man of God said, the glory of God depicts God's testimony. So in our home, we should get ready to share our testimony. Because we'll be delivering great things great things. Our prayer requests are turning to testimonies and our delivery shall be easy, it shall be swift, it shall be great, it shall be multiples in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for that which you have encouraged us with from your word. You have encouraged us to know that faithful is the one who has begun this good work in us. That we are in our season of delivery. That everything you have put in us and you have been nurturing us. That in this season we are going to deliver safely. Not only are we delivering safely, it shall be an easy and a swift delivery. Not only will it be an easy and swift delivery, we shall deliver great things. And we shall deliver in multiples in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Thank you for this encouragement. We are expectant because we know you will do that which you have said to us in the name of Jesus. And perhaps you are listening to me and you have not at any point in time given your life to God. I always want to make an altar call. I want you to know that God loves you. Jesus loves you. He has great love for you. And part of the message that we have shared here also applies to you. God wants to deliver great things through your life. He wants to deliver things that people will see and say, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Great things, great things. Because the Bible makes us know that the world is waiting for the annexation of the sons of God. And you can be a son of God too, so that you can manifest and deliver great things to God's glory. If you are listening to me and you have not at any point in time confessed with your mouth, that Jesus is your Savior. I'm inviting you to come to Jesus. Let him beautify your life. He loves you. If you would like to make this altar call, if you would like to respond to this call of salvation, wherever you may be right now, I want you to take this prayer with me and say, Father, I confess you as my personal Lord and Savior. Please forgive me of my sins. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus. Please have mercy upon me. Come into my life and live. I accept you as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father. Wash me clean with your precious blood. In Jesus' name have I prayed. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations for taking that you know, call to salvation. I want to encourage you to look for a Bible-believing church around you where you can grow in faith, you know, and the Lord will continue to nurture you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Tell somebody be encouraged. Be encouraged. Tell somebody again, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Like the woman of God said, as Zion travailed. Yes, you have travailed month one, month two, month three. This is nine months. This is month 
it normally most of the time they call it the month that a woman will deliver. Nine is a sign of delivery. You have traveled enough. You will give birth in the name of Jesus. That's what I sing this song. I say, you began a good work in you. for somebody need to hear it. He will a good work, work in you. The, the good work of traveling that you have started in this month. He will a good work in you. We'll be faithful to complete it. We'll be faithful to complete it. You believe, sing it with me. We'll be faithful to complete it. He who started the work. He who started the work. We'll be faithful to complete it in you. Because he's faithful to his word. We will say, and I will declare you are the only God, the only God, the only God. And I will declare you are the only God, the only God I know. We will be 
What do you think he will do? You will be rejoicing and be shouting hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So that's what you're doing. Hallelujah, my God. What do you say? Hallelujah. Oh, continue even as we are singing that song one thing about our God is that he will not cause us to conceive something and he will not bring to the path of no delivery just like what we have read he said will I bring you to the point of birth and not cause a delivery ah as many are those who are connected with us I want you to pray for yourself I'll be praying for myself I just want us to do something right now. You all know the story of Mary, the mother of Jesus, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, that which was in her. And of course, to the point of delivery, she delivered, and she delivered something great. I want you to lay your hands upon your tummy, wherever you are right now. I'm laying hands upon my own tummy right now. We're going to be praying for ourselves. You are going to be praying for yourself. I will pray for myself. And the prayer we're going to be praying is this. We're going to say, Father, everything you have put in me and you have been nurturing in me, in this season of delivery, let me deliver it in the mighty name of Jesus. As the song is going on, lay your hands on your tummy and say, Father, everything you have put in me, because our God is not a waster of resources. When he puts things in us, it could be things like gifts, talents, it could be ideas that he has dropped in your heart. Ideas of things that he wants you to execute or to do. It could even be physical babies. So it could come in different dimensions. I want you to lay your hands upon your tummy and pray for yourself like I pray for myself. And say, Father, in this season of delivery, everything in me that you have put inside of me, let there be safe delivery. In the name of Jesus, those dreams, those ideas, those abilities, let there be delivery. Let there be expression. It can be a dangerous thing for God to put something in us and it's not being delivered. Or it becomes a premature delivery. We don't want that. Pray for yourself and say, Father, everything you have put in me, let there be safe delivery. Let there be delivery in this season. In the name of Jesus, I will deliver swiftly. I will deliver easily because I'm helped by God. In the name of Jesus, I will deliver in multiples. I will deliver great things. Begin to pray for yourself. You cannot carry the pregnancy forever. During when a child, when a woman is pregnant and is past her due date and she's not giving birth, what do they do in the hospital? They begin to induce her. You can't keep carrying that pregnancy, my sister. You can't keep carrying that pregnancy, my brother. It is time for delivery. Begin to comfort a delivery. The angels are around. The Holy Spirit is around to help you to bring back that give birth to those things. Begin to pray for yourself. This is my season of delivery. I deliver everything the Lord has put in me. In the name of Jesus. 
Let it come forth. Let it come forth. I hope you are praying for yourself. Let it come forth. In the name of Jesus, everything God has put in me for this season, let it come forth. Let it be delivered. I can no longer be carrying the pregnancy. It is time for a delivery. There are some things that ought to have come out, but I've just remained in you. Begin to call them forth. Those greatness in you, those gifts and talent, those expression of grace, begin to call them forth. They are not meant to remain there. It is for the manifestation, for God's glory, that people may come to redemption, people may come to salvation, and praise your Father in heaven. It is not meant to remain in you. A baby does not remain in the mother's belly forever. The mother has to give birth to the baby. People will come to the naming ceremony. They will say how beautiful this baby is. So it's time to give birth to that baby in you. Give back to those dreams. Give back to those expressions of grace. Give back to those expressions of anointing. It is a time of a battle. Come on, call it forth. Call it forth. In the name of Jesus. Rebado Satangeli Kabashata. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Yes, Lord. I am delivered. Praise the Lord. I am believer by his word. Oh, shut up, Lord. That somebody at the sound of my voice right now. That somebody at the sound of my voice right now. This is not me talking. That somebody at the sound of my voice. It's about the song. I'm about to sing. It will be your song. There's a pregnancy in you that has been bound for a long time. It might be physical. It might be spiritual. It might be a goal. It might be, it might be a dream. I don't even know whether I'm the one I'm talking to myself. So this word is for anybody who cares. For anybody who believes. Your song will be once I was bound by the stain, chained of Satan. Now you now say, now I am free. Praise the Lord. I am deliver. Praise the Lord. I guess it's for me. I am deliver by his word. Once I was bound by the chain. Of Satan, now I am free, and I praise the Lord. I am believer. Praise the Lord. I am delivered by His word. Once I was bound by the chains. Jesus set me free. Why should I be bound? Ah, Jesus set me free. Is that your song? Why should I be bound? Hey. Jesus set me free. Why should I be bound? Why should I be bound? Remember the woman hey. that was hunchback. Jesus said, Woman, thou art loose. Whatever the dreams that the enemy have tied down, I'm telling you, like maybe it's for I think it's for me. Whatever the dreams, whatever the whatever you are pregnant with, that the enemy has tied down in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. I am free in the name of Jesus. Amen. That's what I'm
Because the truth is this. Greatness is in everybody. Let me rephrase that word. Because when God created us, he said he has created us in his own image. So everybody carries greatness. Everybody carries greatness. But then you see some people are expressing the greatness and some people are struggling to express the greatness. So many things happen that stops the expression of such greatness. We're not going into that. That's not what I want to go into. But as we are singing this song, I want you to believe that no, enough is enough. That which the Lord has put in me must come forth. Because it was not put there by man. It was put there by God. And he put it there for an expression. <laughs> for an expression because the world is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. He put it there for the expression of his glory. That men may see what I do for his glory and give praise to him. He put it there so that I will become a problem solver to my generation. So that way the Lord has put in me and put in you is not meant to remain in us. It's meant to come out at different seasons of our life. There is meant to be an expression. When we were worshipping, the story that came to my mind was the story of the man of Gadara. Can you imagine such a man? He was, he was bounded for a number of years. He had so many things disturbing his mental state. And that could not let him express his greatness. I don't know what is limiting the expression of your greatness. Could it be mental situations around you? You know, when we started, we started with the fact that there's something God wants to do in our homes. That's why I said, stand in God for your home. What could have been stopping the manifestation of the greatness of your children? Could it be circumstances around? Whatever it is, worship God with that understanding that today you cannot be bound. That man of Gadara, by the time the Lord delivered him, the Bible said in the Bible said in Luke chapter 8, the last verse in verse 39, after he was delivered of the Lord, the Bible said, But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to your own house, Lee Kaba Shatter, and tell what great things God has done for you. Return to your own house. He was meant to have been in his house with his family manifesting God's glory but he was outside there being torn around torn around torn around the Bible said Jesus said return to your own house and do what and tell what great things God has done for you and he went his way and proclaimed throughout the whole city it was only to his house Jesus said oh but the man went to the whole city and began to say what God has done that is a man that has the grace to, to speak to a whole city. But the enemy bound him. Bound him for a number of years. The greatness in him. That was meant to find expression in cities. Was what? Bound for a number of years. I want you to sing that song. As we are singing it for ourselves. That every greatness in my life. That God has put there. In this season of delivery. Is coming out. You know why Jesus has set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. My children cannot be bound. They must be who God has called them to be. My family cannot be bound. Everything the Lord has said concerning us must come forth. There must be a manifestation in the name of Jesus. Set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. Oh, Jesus, Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. Jesus set me free. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. No, no, no.
to go and tell his people. And he tells the world. When, when she was saying that, this song came to mind. And that's what we're going to close with tonight. He said, He has done so much for me. He has taken away my sorrow. He did not just glory. Oh, glory, hallelujah. He has done it again, again. He has done so much for me. someone John chapter 8 the story of the woman that was caught in adultery somebody needs to hear this the story of the woman that was caught in adultery in John chapter 8 the Bible says the Pharisees brought the woman caught in adultery before God and before Jesus and they made her to stand before Jesus and said ah this woman was caught in the heart of adultery they said so many things, expecting Jesus to condemn her. The Bible said, but Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. And they kept questioning Jesus. And he straightened up and said to them, let any one of you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, those who heard began to go away one at a time. Hmm. The older ones first, until only Jesus was left. And the woman, with the woman still standing there. The Bible says Jesus strengthened up and asked her. You know, Jesus looked around. Woman, where are they? Where are they? Those that condemned you. Where are they? And the woman said, no one, sir. And Jesus said, neither do I condemn you. Jesus declared, go now and live your life. And go and live your life free of sin. This word is for somebody. The reason why you have not bought those things is because there's been a voice of condemnation all around you. There's been a voice of condemnation, a voice of accusation. That's all you keep hearing. I'm reading this word as it was laid upon my spirit to encourage you. That Jesus is saying that neither do I condemn you. Once you have confessed your sins and you have repented, it's a clean slate. So don't allow those voices of condemnation around you to stop you. Look around you right now. Where are they? They are no more there. So get up, arise, and do that with the Lord has laid in your heart to do. Go and live a life free of sin by the grace of God. And don't remain in that state of condemnation. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, Father, we just want to thank you. Can we just sing a song of thanks just to thank God for what he has done today? 
We didn't plan it this way. All no one can do. We give all the glory to God. Thank you, you Jesus. You have done for us. We didn't plan it what this way. What no man can do. Oh, we thank you for what you have you done. You have Lord. done for us. Thank you, Jesus. What no man can do. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You thank have you, Jesus. done for us. Thank you, Jesus. What no man can do. You have done for us. What no man can do. Can do you have done tonight what nobody can do you have done tonight what nobody can do you have done tonight what nobody can do you have done again so we say, Jesus, take the glory. Jesus, take the honor. What nobody can do, you have done again. What no man can do, you have done again. What no man can do, you have done again, oh, what nobody can do, you have done, you have done, you have done again. And so, Father, we say thank you, Jesus. We say thank you to you be all the glory. Take all the glory, Father. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. There shall be no counterattack. We cover everyone connected with the blood of Jesus. We shall testify to the glory of God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. I want to say thank you for joining us today on this September edition of Worship at His Feet. Thank you for connecting. It's not too late to still share the video link even after the broadcast. You can still share the video link with other people so that they will be blessed. We did not plan it this way, but we believe that God has been glorified and we the people, we are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. So can we share the grace together? May the grace, grace of, of the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the love, love of God, God and, and the sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So don't forget to join us for the October edition by the special grace of God. It's going to be a special edition. The Lord will be glorified yet again in Jesus' name. It's always every fourth Saturday of the month. So kindly share with others and God bless you. Can we shout hallelujah together? Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless.